What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and I am back with a whole video guys for today. Uh, a bunch of mail calls and some books that I was able to pick up from a couple of my LCSs. I actually have some new modern stuff that I picked up for you guys to show you today and I know I don't always show you guys modern stuff or books that I pick up to read but I figured I'm doing a haul video. Let me show you what I actually am into for reading wise and new book stuff. So. Before we get into the haul guys, I want you to go ahead and I want you to hit that subscription button if you're not a subscriber because it helps grow the channel and I want to get my videos out there and I want you to hit this like button on this video if you like the stuff that I show you guys today. So with that out of the way, let me show you guys what I was able to pick up over the past couple of weeks. The first one is a book I've been dying to get my hands on because I haven't been able to stop at one of my, at one of my LCSs and they didn't have a first print left, but I was able to snag a third print copy of the Last Ronin, number one. Definitely wanted to check this book out, give it a read. I've been hearing some good things, and of course, I am a TMAT fan. Haven't haven't read any of the newer stuff lately, so I figured now's the time. Let me jump into this and see if it's as good as everyone says it is. So, that's number one. This next book is also a new release, and it took me forever to track a copy down. I actually went to my LCS. They were sold out. They actually got a second shipment in and then they, that sold quick before I got there. So I actually had to bite the bullet and bite this, uh, buy this off of eBay. Um, I got it for cover price or maybe a little bit above. So it's not that big a deal because I did have to pay for shipping. But I definitely wanted this book because I've heard some really great things about it. And it is Red Room number one. This is the type of book I'm going to read. Uh, I hate to say it, but I, I like some messed up stuff on, on my reading material. And I, and I absolutely love this cover, the Reds Pop. I like the variant cover as well, but I decided to go with the regular one just because I thought it was a little bit more creepy. So either way, I will get you a review after I read this thing, but I am excited to actually have it in my possession. The next book I'm going to show you is actually a book that was a throw-in. Believe it or not, on one of these other books is Year of the Villain number one. Um, I know nothing about this book. I'm not a huge DC fan anymore. I was a huge Batman fan when I was a kid, but to me, the, the modern Batman after the new 52 has kind of gone downhill for me. So with that, I don't think I'm going to read this one, but I figured I'd show it to you anyway. This next book I was able to actually pick up off a live claim sale, and it was from Red Hood Comics. Uh, his name's Rob. He's always had some amazing stuff. Um... Some of the books are kind of pricey, but I've been hunting for a copy of this book because I do believe it is a good investment right now. It is a copy of Fantastic Four number 36, the first appearance of Medusa and the Frightful Four. Now, if you guys have watched some of my top 10 videos, you know that this is one of my top spec books that I'm buying right now. So if you guys could find a copy for cheap, I believe I paid $225 for this book if my memory served me correct. It is a He has it graded at a 4.5 and he's pretty good with his grading, I will say that. It is definitely a nice looking copy of this book. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. If you think it's a 4.5, throw it up there. You guys let me know what you think. But a beautiful Silver Age Fantastic Four cover. Happy to add this one to the collection because like I said, anything Fantastic Four right now, especially the early stuff, uh, 1 to 100 keys, I would kind of invest in now if you can because they will go up. The next book, believe it or not, is a book that this now, this is my third copy of. Uh, I wanted another copy if I could get one at a good price. I picked this one up off of an IG, not a live sale, but a um, guy up in Canada who posts, he has a store and he posts a ton of stuff up there. And if he, sometimes when he has stuff at a good price, I pounce on it. Um, he does get collections in from time to time. So either way, I always watch his, his Instagram and, and try to look for stuff that I think that is a good value. So. I was to pick up a third copy of Iron Fist 14, the first appearance of Sabretooth. Now, he had graded this book at about a 7.5, and I can tell you right off the bat that this book could definitely use a press. Um, I would say he's probably right, 7075. Um, there is a, um, you can't see, it looks, you know, like the books have been stacked on this book. You probably, you could probably see it a little bit right here, like book, other books have been stacked on it, but either way. There's a little bit of a ding in the top right hand corner that I could press out a little bit, but there is a little bit of a color break there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Now, everybody also knows that this is another one of my top spec books that I've been picking up when I could find them for a good price because I think that book is severely undervalued. Sabretooth is a huge character. Um, like I said, this is my third copy. I have two that are graded a 7.5 and a 6.5, I think, or a 6.0. And this is probably in around the same range, a little bit higher grade. But when I saw a raw copy, everybody knows I'm picking up raws when I see them. 
I pounced on it. I think I paid a total of $500 for that if my memory serves me correct, which I thought was a good deal for a 7075 book, so I pounced on it. Um, I, it's got the barcode on there. Uh, I don't know if that's considered a new stand or not at this point. Uh, at this age of book, I believe it is, but I'm not 100% on that, so don't hold me to it. The last book, believe it or not, I actually picked up of a fellow Instagrammer. He had posted it for sale, and I asked him the price. And I thought that was a really good price for this book, considering that it is insanely going up right now. So I pounced on it. This book could also use a press. Um, he had he had it graded at a 4.5 to a 5.0. I'm going to say it's probably anywhere from a 4.0 to a 4.5. And I tend to do that when I'm looking at books. I always go a little lower what I think. Like I said, this book can definitely go for a press. But uh, I think once I press this out, there is some spine wear. It'll be definitely worth more than what I paid for it. So this is a copy of Marvel Spotlight number five, the first appearance of the Ghost Rider. And as you can see on this pic, I'm going to throw it up there for you guys so you can see it. There is some spine wear, some definitely some ticking. And you can see it definitely could use a press can't really tell from that angle but either way once I press this book out I believe it'll be around a 4.5 he thought maybe a 4.5 to a 5.0 I think after the press maybe a 4.5 either way I was able to pick up, pick up that book for $1,100 on Instagram I believe a 4.5 is definitely going for more than that right now so I think I got a good deal on that book that's why I wasn't too upset but that is the second copy of that book I've added to the collection I have a I think a a 5.0 or a 5.5 behind me CGC graded copy that that'll stay with me for a long time this one at some point will like I said will press and then we'll send it off to CGC for you know a sale at some point but that won't be until we get a probably an official trailer at some point a, a Ghost Rider movie or an appearance in an actual movie so that is not the last book I lied to you guys I forgot I have an unboxing totally forgot this book is a ridiculously hot book right now. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. And it also is an inexpensive key. Um, this book, like I said, is, is huge spec on it. There hasn't been an announcement, but there's been kind of like a rumbling or an expectation or, or even type of a visual in a recent trailer. So I'm, I don't wanna give it away, but I am gonna show you guys what it is. I picked this up from a, uh, a small claim sale that happened actually the other day and it actually got to me really quick. It was from X Illusionary Comics on IG. If you guys haven't checked him out, he always does like, um, what are they called? Where you, the, uh, you gotta buy into it, the spots. You, you know, they roll the dice and maybe you can win a big book. He always does a lot of that stuff. So if you guys haven't checked him out, check him out. He's huge on IG. So, let me get this out of the cardboard. Definitely pack this thing well. Really, really good shape. Again, a huge spec issue right now. I wasn't even sure I was gonna pick this book up unless I could find it at a good price. And he had it at a good price, so I had to uh, I had to jump on it while I could. Oh, he's got it taped on this side as well. Oh, he's got this thing taped really well. That's why I hate doing this stuff on camera, guys. It, uh, it always takes me forever to get everything open. There we go. Got it. Got it, got it. So, I paid a total of $250 for this book, guys. And I've, I've seen everybody pick this up right now. So, I figured why not add it? Because I do think if you get him and he do actually takes over the leadership role of the Avengers at some point, that it would actually be a pretty big book. So, the bag that it's in is not the greatest. So, I'm going to leave it in there. But it doesn't do the book justice. I'm going to say this is probably like a 4-0 just from giving it a, a once-over on the cover. Obviously, I have to go through the thing. But about a 4-0 or 4-5. Uh, we have a copy of Avengers number 48. First appearance of the Black Knight. Uh, I believe this is the third Black Knight, uh, I think. You guys correct me. Let me know down there. Dane Whitman becomes the Black Knight in this issue. I believe uh, in 47 is his first appearance. But either way, a huge uh, spec book that's right now that everybody thinks is going to show up in the Eternals movie. Uh, supposedly, there's actually a shot of him in the trailer that you kind of have to dig through to see. I didn't catch that, but either way, I do think this is a huge book right now. If you guys could pick it up and find it cheap, like I said, I paid a total of $250 for this book, and I think it was worth it because you don't know what's going to go forward with this character. I may be wrong, but I think a lot of other guys on YouTube have also been talking about this book. So like when I found it for cheap, or I thought it was a decent price. I thought I would pounce on it, and I think it was a good deal at 250. 
You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Did I overpay for that book or any of the books out here? If anybody has, has read that Red Room, let me know what you think down in the comments without spoiling it for me because I do want to read it and I am going to. And that's it. Let me know what you think, guys. As always, this is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you can. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll talk to you soon.